Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at the EZA for this kid, Goten and Trunks, LR EZA. Um, I, from what I've heard, they're pretty darn good. I haven't looked at them too closely, so I'm actually jumping in for the first time, but, um, you know, these LR EZAs, some of them have been a little underwhelming, like AGL Majin Vegeta and, um, Int, uh, Gohan, but... Um, the Majin Vegeta, I think, is okay. He's just a little wonky in his kit, but from my understanding, these guys are actually pretty darn good. Like, they're pretty impressive. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look how they are doing in this showcase, um, see how viable they are. The one thing I don't like about this unit up front is they don't have, like, a very good linking partner. The most they can get is four links with a character. Um, so, it'd be really nice if they linked a little bit better with some other units in the game, but... Um, you know, what can you do? I think they're still going to be pretty good either way. Um, the thing that is kind of cool about them is they do have uh, Trunks Kid and Goten Kid in the name, which does apply to some other units' effects. So, like, if you're running, say, a Buu Saga team, you can run STR-18, uh, and you don't have to put any other Kid, Goten, or Trunks on the team, and that 18 becomes a support unit. She's a pretty darn good one, too. So, um, any of those units that depend on having a Kid, Trunks, or Goten, like, this unit will fulfill that, which I think is pretty cool, right? So after EZA, they are now a key 420% AGL leader. Uh, this is a good battlefield leader skill, so definitely some use there, but otherwise you're not using them as the leader. And then extreme type is 90% the stats in the key three. Uh, now their super attack effect is a little bit more complicated than the traditional unit um, because Goten and uh, Trunks have a chance to transform into different types, right? So on the 12 key, um, they basically have a 50% chance to be fat go tanks or a 50% chance to be skinny go tanks. So if they're fat go tanks, they're going to get this 30% defense raise. If they get skinny go tanks, they get actually defense reduction. So some people have thrown in the argument to go all in crit on these guys because having uh, additionals on them is kind of like a roulette where you don't know if you're actually going to get a defense down, which could actually really hurt you in hard content. So I definitely can see that argument, right? The 18 key is what you always want to shoot for with these guys, and they're pretty good at getting the 18 key because of their effect, which we'll see here. Um, so the 18 key has Mega Colossal and raises defense by 30%, but then they also have a 50% chance to uh, greatly raise attack and defense. So um, basically you have a 50-50 shot of being either Super Saiyan Go Tanks, which is going to do the 30% defense, or you're going to get um, Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, which is going to give you attack and defense. The thing that I like about it is no matter what 18 key you're doing, you're getting a defense raise on super, which is really, really good. So I think that's very solid right there, right? Um, and then the passive, it's very simple, but it's effective. Like just with LR and the LR stats they have, um, it's very good. So the first part is they just randomly get five to 10 key at the start of turn. So they literally could just like load up and have 10 key and basically <laughs> what they would be at like 16 key or something guaranteed to start. So they're pretty much... Like, yeah, going to always be near that 18 key super range. So, like, unless you're getting really unlucky with orbs, it's pretty easy to hit the 18 key super with these guys because they might link up. You know, they should get some key from links if you're linking them well. Um, and then they're going to get a minimum of five key. And we've seen with units like God, Goku, and Hit. God, Goku, and Hit, it's, like, nearly impossible to get their 12 key super. And they get six or seven key um, just, like, flat out. And these guys have a chance... Like, actually a better chance of getting more key than Hit does, which is really crazy. So, these guys are, are looking really good for that key part of the passive. Um, they get attack and defense 150 on super, which means you're going to notice a huge jump in attack when there's extra support on rotation. Um, and then an additional attack plus 50 if it's an 18 key super. So, getting the 18 key, I think their 12 key is going to look a lot weaker than the 18 key for sure. And if you have no support, they're going to look a lot weaker also. Um, and then they just flat out have a medium chance of evading. I believe this is a 30% chance, um, which isn't bad. It's just something in the kit they can just evade, right? It's not like UI Goku levels of evasion, um, but it's there and it, it can definitely come into play. I mean, you know, people talk about how important it is to have three dodge. Well, these guys basically have 30 dodge, like just built in, which is really, really good. Um, and then, yeah, I did decide to go all in crit on mine because I, I do get what people are saying with that kind of roulette. Uh, but I still left the 11 additional on there because I'm going to take my chances a little bit. Um, getting additionals can still be good. And I think if you do get the defense raise, it's very good there, right? Um, they're like midway linked. You can see like level five links kind of in that range. So we're going to kind of see them at that point. But they are fully rainbowed and ready to go. So we are running them on the Majin Vegeta team. So this is a 200% showcase. They are gifted warriors in Majin Buu Saga. So they will get that full leader skill. Um, we're going to run them on rotation with the new Goten and Trunks. This is one of the units they can get four links with. The other ones are really weird. It's like TN and Chiaotzu, the LR TN and Chiaotzu, and then like LR Beerus and Whis. And like, 
These are units you're probably not running on their team unless you're running like joint forces or something. But uh, yeah, they, they don't really have... It's like this is their best linking partner where they're getting four links. Otherwise, they have a pretty big pool of like three link linking partners that you could run that work pretty decent also, right? But I think giving them the five to 10 key randomly, that helps with that issue of not having great linking partners, right? And then we got 18 supporting. We've got this Gohan supporting. We have the Gifted Warriors uh, Goten supporting as well. So let's hop in. So here's turn one. Now this is a non-supporter turn. So we'll keep that in mind as we look at the attack stat. So defense is only 80k. Because they get 150% defense on super and then they're getting more defense on the super attack effect, their defense is actually going to be looking really good um, after super. Like they're probably going to be around 300k, somewhere in that range. But before super, they're not good at all. So they're definitely a slot two unit or a slot three unit. Um, so I'm going to do as I'm going to put them in slot two. No, I'll leave them in slot one. Uh, that's not normally what you do, but look at the key there. They're basically three key away from an 18 key super at the start of turn. And here we've only got three orbs, which isn't the craziest, but it's enough to get us there, right? So we'll do that and we'll do that. And I, I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember the STR Goten and Trunks' kit very well because I used them like once for a showcase and I haven't touched them. So 5.6. Now 5.6 isn't the craziest, right? But we did get regular Gotenks, right? So if you get Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, there's an additional attack raise there. And once again, we did not have support. When you get attack on super, uh, support units amplify that way more, and they're getting a huge chunk on super, 150. So I have a feeling that on the next turn, when we have support, like their attack set is gonna jump really insane. Um, so we're gonna try to get this set up so we're gonna have that constant support flowing here. So we'll let Vegeta attack, Gohan can just do this, and then Goten, sure, do this. All right, so Vegeta will take the Goku out, and then we'll go to the next phase here and see what, what they're looking like. But um, just in general, I, I'm always a big fan of Easy Age just because it brings these old, unrelevant units um, back into play. And a lot of these old LRs, right, like this Goten and Trunks, like they could still hit decently hard before their Easy Age, but their defense was just like nothing, right? So a lot of the updates is just to make them runnable and difficult content. Okay, so right here, um, we're going to run them in slot two because in slot one, they are just going to get crushed. But here they are. They're starting the turn over 18 key. So once again, we got luckier on that key passive. It's going to fluctuate from turn to turn, but uh, we got a pretty good shot at a 24 key here, which we're going to get. Um, so now we have support, 30% support. We're at 100k start of turn defense, right? Now keep in mind, they get 150% on super so that then they're going to be at like 250k. And then they once again get a defense stack on super, which is probably going to put them to 300k or more, which is decent. It, they're not like a defensive god or anything like that, but I think they're going to be fairly offensive with enough defense to get by in hard contact. Um, and I think for a really offensive unit, that's about all you can ask for, right? Okay. Unless you're like the year sevens where you're just defensively and offensively gods, like sure, once in a while those units come out. But in general, like you, you kind of give up one thing for the other. Let's see what their offense looks like here. Yeah, 8.7. We just shot up like a rocket. So a couple of things happened here. We got Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which gives us an attack raise on Super. We got a 24 key, which was a higher multiplier. And we had support. So you see in the right setup, like if they're just easily pushing out 8 to 9 million attack stats, that's pretty good. Like that's top tier. Like that's like what a DPS unit looks like. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with that attack stat. Um, we'll definitely get a couple more turns in here, but we don't have to go crazy deep on these guys. Um... Just because they're not like stacking over multiple turns, right? But it is kind of interesting to see a few turns where we can see how that key is fluctuating. We can see if we happen to miss an 18 key ever. But I feel like you're pretty much always going to be getting the 18 key. So their key mechanic, I think, is one of the best things about their kit, to be honest. And I know some people might not like that as RNG. But when, you're, when your floor is 5 key, like, that's fine. That's not a bad floor, right? So look, almost starting. <laughs> we're 1 key away. So we're guaranteed the 18 key super again. Uh, we'll throw them in slot one here. We've got 40% support, and we're definitely banging out the 24 key with that orb set up there. All right, what are we looking like here? So, yeah, 112k uh, defense start a turn. So, once again, he's going to be well over 300k after super um, because we're getting the defense raise there as well on super. Uh, having the better support helps. And then 9.2. So... We're getting into the realm of where I could potentially see these guys uh, getting to 10 mil attack sets. I kind of would want to see what he does on an additional 12 key, to be honest. Um, but I do have his, like I said, his additionals are built pretty low at 11. Uh, we'll get one more turn and see if we can get that. But 
I'm pretty impressed with a 9.2 mil attack stat. And, like, this isn't, like, an unrealistic uh, here with the Vegetas. Let's just try to, like, not hurt this Goku too much. We'll do that, yeah. We'll just kind of play it easy here and just get through the turn. But, um... It, it, it's not like this team build is unrealistic. Like, this is actually a fairly realistic team build you could run. Um, you know, you wouldn't run two Majin Vegeta's on rotation like that, but, like, having the rotation of the STR Goten and Trunks with uh, the LR Goten and Trunks is realistic. Like, they're both newer units, newer EZAs, right? And then having these supports that I'm running, these are good, realistic supports you would run these days. So, yeah, and, like, literally, the 24 keys are the 18 key supers. They're just f flowing, right? Like, we can't avoid them, basically. Uh, and you would have to, like, literally, like, unlink them and, like, try to not get it at this point, right? So, very, very good. Another 24 key back-to-back -back 24 key supers. Uh, the defense is pretty consistent. I would say he's sitting in that 300k defense range after supering with support on rotation, which, like I said, is good enough. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, 8.9. So... <laughs> There you go, guys. I, we're getting really lucky with the Go Tanks. That was an upgrade, by the way. That used to be a 30% chance to get Super Saiyan 3. Now it's 50%. So just some very nice upgrades. Very hard-hitting unit, like consistent 8 to 9 mil attack stats. Uh, they're looking really good. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this Go 10 and Trunks LR EZA. I think they're looking fantastic. Um, thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one.